Hi, everybody. Welcome back to the Chasing Psychological Safety video series. Today, we're going to follow on from the article in yesterday's uh, Chasing Psychological Safety LinkedIn newsletter. If you read it, awesome. Um, if not, that's what we're going to talk a bit more about today. So, as you all know, or anybody who has watched our videos or read the articles knows, we make a team software. So, a team software that drives, measures, and encourages psychological safety, which is a group behavioral norm, very, very focused on the team. But something's happened, which is that we stumbled across, or we accidentally created as well, as we've discovered, a servant leadership tool. So, whilst we went on this journey from it originally being the software and the tool and the product being about the leader to opening up in a real you know, light bulb moment for us, the software dashboard to everybody in the team and making it you know, totally something that the team owns and is the accountability and, and the enjoyment of which is shared across the team, we've realized that actually that allows a leader who's in a leadership role in a team to serve the team better and also to share that load across the team as well. So what we wanted to do today was give you a few of the learnings from that journey and from the companies that have got us to this point. Right, um, we, we were lucky really, it's the only way to put it. Um, we would like to take credit and say this is something we, we um, meticulously engineered, but it isn't. It's something we, that became a byproduct of, of what we were making. And that is thanks to the very smart teams that we had the luck of encountering. Um, and in those teams, two are the most pivotal ones, if you wish. One of them is the one that has essentially drove us to change the uh, focus from where a dashboard was only presented to the team leader to having the dashboard presented to the entire team. And that is because the team very calmly asked how come uh, they need to have one team leader when they don't have that role in the team. Um, and then the second uh, team was, so we immediately kind of pivoted for them and realized that that's a pivot that we should do for absolutely everyone, meaning now everybody in the team was able to see the dashboard. And then the second really uh, defining moment, I think, is even after we realized that and we changed the structure um, of, of the software, which was now like a collective experience as a collective space where the entire team can, can do better. Um, we then realized that we, we still very clearly were making this uh, um, product for a team so that the team gets better. We're so focused on psychological safety, we saw very little around it. Um, and yet we've had contact with at least two, but one of them was the Q1 companies that were very um, adamant about psychological safety being great and the, you know, the importance of the team is there, but what they want to use us for is to train their people into becoming servant leaders. Um, simply because if you are to rotate the responsibility of the simple action of sharing the dashboard in a team meeting and then leading that conversation and facilitating the discourse around um, the potential plays and the potential human interventions, if you just do those things, that is essentially the essence of, of servant leadership, the tasks, the role, the, the function that it implies. So we would first and foremost urge you to, um, so what they've learned, the reason they've gotten to that and how they've learned that is because they were struggling to, um, to, to communicate to people that leadership is not necessarily a title and it's not necessarily a one person's role. It's a collection of tasks. Um, and, and that way you can distribute them if you want. Absolutely. And there's huge benefit in this for the team. Yeah, unquestionable benefit in working in this way for the team and using tools like ours or your purely your leadership style to make that change in the team. One of the things that it's really useful, beneficial, important to highlight is the benefit to the leader. So what the truth is for a servant leader is that you're not alone. So for lots of leaders, they have grown up, if you like, in their corporate careers with a belief that the, uh, the buck stops with me, the, the accountability of everything sits with me. I must make sure and take, and take everything onto my to-do list in order to keep the team moving. And it's actually not true. If you take this servant leadership approach, then you can share the load across the team. 
everybody gets involved, everybody is empowered, everybody is engaged, the flow amongst the team is much easier. You actually don't need to be involved in many tasks because there are sub teams working together. You know, the psychological safety and the trust is strong enough in that team because you have made it so that they don't need you anywhere near as much as they needed you before. That dependency, it uh, dissipates across the team. So the idea that you can share your leadership across the team by serving them and just removing blockers and offering resources and being that person um, actually makes the load of the leader much, much lighter and the work of the team much, much easier. They have flow, the magic is happening and those teams enjoy working in that way so much more. So do yourself a favor. Exactly, there's a one, it's feeling that there's no reason to be necessarily carrying it all. And then um, it's also the immense advantages of having the role distributed, which again, uh, uh, the most efficient servant leader is simply a facilitator. That's all they do. They make sure that things are happening. I mean, these are smart people you have in your team. They can very well do the tasks that they're doing, but they can't do so without approvals and resources and blockers being removed. And if you, first of all, organizationally arrange that that's not a, a de continuous dependency, but things exist in place in a bucket of resources and the bucket of permission and the bucket of, of um, accountability being put at the team level, then you can as a leader simply help others take parts of your facilitation on and that way you get the collective effect of people being involved um, at the same time. So, you know, we're not saying buy our software because we're the only leadership um, training software in the universe, N not by far. We're not even necessarily in that business whatsoever. We just want to make teams better. And realistically, better teams are autonomous and they have servant leadership and they are facilitated by people that understand leadership that way. And they are obviously psychologically safe as well. Thank you so much for listening to us today. Thank Perfect. you.